Hey everybody, I'm Todd Anderson. And I'm Todd Stevens. Happy Friday. Welcome to the Verse series on StarCityGames.com. So we cap off our Versus week this week, uh, the Battle of the Tods. Uh, with some popper and this is a format that's steadily growing in popularity uh i know that channel fireball there. popularity mm? Mm. Right. Unintentional. Popper. i get it yeah. it was unintentional uh channel fireball has been uh adding a lot of popper events to their uh grand prix circuit as well as starcdgames.com at all of our uh, scg tour events have been adding popper events we're gonna have some at uh, SCG Con. Oh, yeah. It's going to be cool. There's going to be a whole big popper open, I think. Or yeah, open a uh, class yeah. popper classic. Yep. Uh, so if you're a fan of the event, make sure to head out to Roanoke uh, whenever SCG Con is. I forgot the exact date, but uh, if you are on StarCGames.com, it's probably in the banner, like right up there, because they're, you know, <laughs> they advertise it constantly. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be playing some popper, uh, kind of in practice for that event, but also because popper's sweet. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's actually like you think, like, okay, it's just commons, like this is going to be a low powered format, but it's really not. Like these cards <laughs> are really good. Like, I like, mean, when you get the, the, the entire history of magic, there's a yeah. lot of good stuff. Yeah. And, the, you know, with all these reprint sets, uh, you know, like Iconic Masters, uh, M M25, things like that. A, a lot of cards are getting shifted from like uncommon to common and sometimes even rare to common. Oh, yeah. So it's been pretty awesome. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, but uh, today we're going to be playing some popper. Uh, neither of us know which uh, deck the other one is playing. Um, I'm actually playing a deck that was on the Versus series recently, but it's something that I really like. Okay. Wink, okay. wink. Uh, if, if you know anything about me in the last four years, I have played a deck very similar to this in Standard. Hmm. So. I bet it's the, the just blue, red, black. kiln fiend. No. I bet. I bet <laughs> just, just guy black. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get to the match and see who takes it down on Popper Friday. Okay, we're here for game one, and, um, I am on the play. Just, uh, that's just how it goes. I, I get to be on the play every game. And <laughs> no, you won the seven eleven game. I rolled a seven, you rolled an eleven, so oh, you get right. to be on the play every game. Oh yeah, that, that's that's what every happened. match. Yeah, um, that's not what happened. So we got I two lander four times. and a bunch of two drops. It'd be nice to to get another land, but we'll we'll see. We may have to just be playing one. A lot spell of two of creatures. drops. That's not very like this format. Uh, my hand is pretty good. Um, you know, I guess we'll figure out what he's playing, and then we'll like kind of sequence our turns based on that. Gonna give it away. Yeah. Battle sure. for Zendikar staple. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to give it away real fast. Uh, we're playing Eroic. Oh, no. Eroic. This, this is not, not going to be good. What are you talking about? It's going to be great. Forest. Evolving Wild's Forest. Are you playing that stupid black-green uh, Tortured Existence deck again? Maybe. That deck beat the crap out of me. Or, yeah, that was you, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that was me. Um... I think we're gonna have to get get woke here. Let's get this <laughs> muscle sliver up in here. <laughs> All right. So even though it's printed as one one, uh, muscle sliver is one of the cards that pumps all slivers. Mm -hmm. Most slivers do that. There was a stretch, uh, I think it was like M14 or 15, where the slivers were like all other slivers. Yeah, was which was a little yeah. weird. Or all I slivers guess, you control. I guess there were actually. slivers in both those sets, weren't there? M14 mm. and M15. Yeah, I had I think, both. Or yeah, maybe. I'm not they, sure. they had both slivers. So All we right. got the hive, the hive lord. That was well, fifteen. Well, because he is slivers, that means he's probably going to be gumming up the ground. I don't think there's a reason to play blue. I can't think of another color you would want, really. So I'm just going to hope that this survives, and then we're going to suit him up. Uh oh. Like we could just kind of jam some stuff on on Laguna. Gain a life. All right, you twenty one. Attack. It's a 3-3, three, three, right? Yeah. All right, I'll block with my 0-4. All right, pump it. No! Okay. <laughs> All right, so you're at 19. Yeah, or eight, uh, yeah, 19 to 20 still. All right, well, Go. you know what? Let's race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, uh, trigger, put a counter, and trigger, put a counter. See, how many counters do you get? Three. Uh, two. <laughs> uh, so this is a three, and then four from Hyena, and then five, six. Yeah, I cannot. Um, let me first. hold on. Let me. I might actually do one more thing. So I'm trying to figure out if he has. I mean, there. Collect company. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I might, let's see, let's see, you're 19, so I could do seven, and then I have to do a couple more, so I could draw, like, Defiance. I'm going to actually just try to kill him next turn. So we are going to play a rebound spell here. I'm going to give it pro green or whatever. All right, so. Uh, so you're going to take uh, three, seven, four, go five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. It's very unlikely I kill him next turn, but there is a chance if we hit like Define Strike or another Ethereal Arm. Now that was a good draw. We got just another two drop Lord, so that's good. Mm -hmm. So four and and no, four. It's six. Well, they're both four, right? No, they're both three. One, two, three. Oh yeah, there's eight. All right. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm at twelve. That's scary. Okay. And then we'll give him first strike post combat. Sure. Go. All right. So, so can you kill me. Pro green again. Oh, you don't want to do pro green. I think you have mutagenic growth. Oh, I do have mutagenic growth. Okay, pro red. Sorry, okay. whatever. Hope you have right, we, didn't, we didn't draw oh, the thing. you do have cut shot. I so think. we can play this. The same list I played before. I think you have cut shot. So this is only a, this is a plus two. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be nine, ten. So unfortunately, we are dead if we attack. So we'll just play this and say go. Woo! We didn't die. Uh, yeah, lords, lords for days. Oh wow! Am I dead? Well, I guess I can cast this. It was really hard to find the the CMC with these future sight cards. <laughs> but now they have poisonous one. Okay. I mean, so, that's another route to victory, I guess, but I'm pretty sure the damage is going to kill me before <laughs> that does. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Uh, we will block uh, Muscle Sliver and chump one of these, and we'll take... Yeah, eight. so then first strike, so this yeah. will happen. Oh, right. because right. first strike. Yeah. So... Oh, oh yeah. I have first strike also, though. Right. Right. So, they all have first strike. So I still take eight. Yeah, so you take... So I'm, at, I'm at four. And you're at eight poison? Is that... Like, are no, you just no, at no. Eight poison? It's just one... They all have poison once. So they, they all deal one point of poison. Oh, it's, it's it's not. It's fine. It's it's more like a, I've never uh, played with this card before. It's not like infect. It's yeah. just poison. So okay. I, have, I have three poison. Okay. Well, let's get some more first strike in here. All right. Well, uh, so we need mutagenic growth would do it, I believe, as well as ethereal armor and defiant strike. All kills. Ooh. All right. So I have to do this to just try to kill. I'm I'm not 100 percent it kills you. I got to count. So, and then we'll play this. So what this is. So enchantment gives it protection for whatever color. I'm gonna say red again. Uh, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'll attack for thirteen. Yep. Dang. Woo! We drew it. Boy. Okay, we're here for sideboarding, and we got a lot going on over here. So um, we're basically uh, just having lots of ways to deal with the enchantments. The ones I'm I'm not exactly sold on. Are these three over here? We'll see how good they are. Uh, they definitely would have been good that that last game with just like ethereal armor is just so important. Mm -hmm. um, but but we'll see. I, I am taking out a lot of stuff, and, and may, maybe we have like too much chaff in the deck with these, but we'll we'll see. Um, I think our our fight spells this creature is going to be way too big. I don't think the that this is really what what we uh, need going on, as you can see there. And then also, I think it's just a race. We don't really have time to be restocking our hands, so we don't need that. So let's uh, let's try this out. Okay, uh, my side, I'm not sideboarding anything. My sideboard is chock full of stuff that doesn't interact with them. Like we have uh, Dark Death Speakers, Pro Black Thing, Beckon Apparition is ex uh, anti graveyard thing, Sacred Cat, um, Sacred anti burn, Cat. Uh, Holy Lights. You know, most of it is. Creatures are either white or pump the rest of his creatures, so we can't actually kill much with that. Uh, dust to dust obviously removes artifacts and uh, fragmentize as well. The the standard bear is something I thought about maybe bringing in in case he had uh, like more pump spells than what I was aware of. Like besides mutant growth, like you know he could have uh, I don't know some other pump spell that I'm yeah. I can't think of, and maybe it would be okay there. But uh, I don't know, it's tough. Could have like rancor. Something. Yeah, no, Rancor would be good. I guess I can maybe board it back in for game three. Right. So we'll we'll just play it as is, and the, the protection spells are not good, but they still pump my creatures, and I think that that's more important than a two-mana 1-1 one, one that maybe shuts down his pump spells. Okay, here we are for game two. I'll be back on the play, and uh, we got a good mix of um, 
creatures and spells, or I mean lands and spells. So, sure. Uh, my side, we actually have a very good card in this matchup in our opener. Uh, it could end up backfiring, so we got to be a little careful, and we still need something to make it actually good. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go to twenty-one. Sure. Your turn. You know, that one life could end up mattering, you know. Oh yeah. I was very close last game to not being able to kill you. Huh. Okay. If we get a plus and plus one and first strike enchantment, I think he might just be dead. But we don't have that yet. Yeah, I think we can just leave that. Go. Well, oh. you in trouble, bro. Uh, protection from green? Oh, wait, no, that doesn't pump it. Hmm. It doesn't have. Hmm. All right. Uh, I will provoke it, and I'll just mutagenic. All right. Well, I will block. Yep. And I'll mutagenic that. Tilt. All right. So I'm at 18. You're at 19. 19. Yep. Um. All right. I'll go ahead and play this into speed, and I'll give it pro green after the fact. Okay. After this resolves out. Or whatever. Yeah. All right. Go. And then does it uh does it just stay on forever still? Yeah. Like, this is, yeah, yeah. So this it's just always pro green. Yep. All right, attack for two. Sixteen. No lord pre combat. Nope. All right, spinner at silver is pretty good. <clears throat> All right, so now they're three toughness. Yeah. Well, this, this, oh, is, this a, is a three four. Yeah, that's a three four. Okay. Oh, that means I can't even make these block anymore. That kind of stinks. That's kind of a stinker. <laughs> All right, I will play in a Crone Crusader, or Sky Guard, and just hold Deathblade Elite on defense. Okay. This is a non bow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Two cards in hand, four mana. Combat. Pass turn. <laughs> yeah. Right, sure. Oh, I have nothing to do. Unfortunate me. Yeah, I'm just tag. Right, this is a uh, two, two, three. three. Yeah, so two, three, two, three, three, four. I'm going to double block this guy. Two, one, two. Yeah, two, three. All right, so this has protection from green already. I'll go ahead and try to emerge unscathed this and give it protection from green. That's gross. Uh, wait. Um. So it's, all right, so it's a 2-2, two, two, that's a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to vine. So I could vines and break that up, but I think, but they'll still get the counter. So I could still just, we basically just trade these. If yeah. I if I if I break that up, I could trade the sky guard for the the predatory sliver. If I do trade those, I'm just sitting with this. And I don't really know how three. that works, or like how, how I'm going to win with that mm -hmm. with just that. So I guess I'm just going to kick this. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take three, four, five. Yeah. And put me to eleven, I believe. So it was a sixteen from a attack for two last turn. Yeah. Um. You just have two in hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. All right. I will uh, target this. I'm going to give it pro red this time. Okay. I will drop. Let's cycle this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> say go. We're, we're fine playing a little bit of defense here. We really want to draw... Uh, Something to pump Chomano or the Deathblade Elite, so I can attack the uh, Pleated Sliver. Hmm. This could get blown out by a protection spell, but I'm gonna still try this. Target that one. All right, I'm gonna pro white. Okay. Um, I 
I guess I will pass the turn. All right, target it again. Use it pro red or whatever. Yep. <laughs> Uh, your turn. Alright, we'll get my slivers flanking. That's pretty good. That means this triggers even if uh, with protection. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's only for whenever creature without flanking blocks. Yeah. Right. It's not. So whenever I block, my guy doesn't have flanking. So. Right, but I mean, if you if you provoke my thing, that, that doesn't do anything. Sure. Um... And we'll give him first strike as well. Okie dokie. But I still don't think I can attack through the sky guard. Uh, let's see. This would be a three. Yeah. I mean, three power, first strike, even with flanking. Can't really get through that. If I attack with the easy, just block this thing. I'm going to pass turn. Okay. Hmm. Really looking for a lord next turn. All right, go. Maybe I need these lead the stampedes back. Can't really do anything. Um, so I was afraid of drawing this card. Okay, so if we attack out, we can eat eat a lord. Chomp, chomp. I'm just passing the turn. Your bane slayer angel over there is. Hold on. Making me defeated over here. All right, so right now you only have one lord, so two, four, six, nine, eleven. Attack with this. All right, go. Okay, another lord. Great. Now can we attack? So we eat that lord, chum. I think. I think now it's okay to attack. I think we can eat a lord. All right, let's attack. All right, so if this blocks, it's going to get flanked into the red zone. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Um, whatever. Put a counter on this. I'm going to give it pro. So many emergence gave. Green. Uh, pro green again. Uh, this is going to eat this, and then this is going to try to eat this, I think. So, no, it'll still be a 2 3. Crap. So, maybe I should just block here. Right, so, there's a 3. This is still a 4. So, block here, take 3, 6, 9. And then I just eat this. To the chump. Six, six. This is tough. Maybe I should try to eat something. So I don't think you can't. I don't think that can eat anything, right? Because it's it's three. It's a three three, right? So it's just gonna be a two two. Yeah, these are all three threes with first. They're strike. gonna be in the flanking. Be... Yeah, yeah, okay. So all you right, can't sure. eat anything. Okay, yeah. I'll take nine. I'm okay. at Go two. down two. This is dead. <clears throat> all these are alive. Your turn. All right, uh, target this, give it pro red or whatever. Okay. Um, I think I'm just dead because all your creatures have two power. You have to have something to give you like lifelink or something. Yeah. I think you might have like the enchantment lifelink. No, I'm dead. Okay. Ray, go slivers. All right. I had a ray revelation that did nothing. All right, so we're here for game three, the final game of the week, and my hand is pretty good, especially on the play. Uh, it could get broken up pretty easily by something like Ray of Revelation or maybe even uh, Journey to Nowhere, but hopefully he doesn't draw it. <laughs> hopefully it takes a bunch of creatures. Yeah, we got, we got, we don't have any lords, but we have some things to do. So. Yeah, your turn. Like, a, hmm, no, so we're going to have to play the top land first, which is unfortunate. Right, 21. Oh, our hand's stuck with one drops. Your turn. Okay. You don't have that many one drops in your deck anymore. You have, well, <laughs> I, I guess like you have all of my hand. Flanking sliver and uh, butt sliver. Um, 
Well, we did draw. Sidewinder? Is that the name of the one? Uh, plated. Um. Hmm. To draw a lord. I'm going to get lords out first. So I don't really want to move all in yet, so we're just going to play another flyer and then try to do a bunch of damage next turn and just kind of spread our resources around just so we play around uh, just getting absolutely smashed by a journey to nowhere or some such. <coughs> yep. So I can block flyers. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll take two. I'm at 18. Yep, and awkward hand passes turn. Okie dokie. Now what? Alright, uh... I guess it's only a 3-3, three, three, right? So we just need to make yeah. our things 3 power. Uh, counter here, get a soldier. Oh, yeah, uh, that's a good card. Counter here, get a soldier. And their first strike now? Yeah. Okay, so so we get crushed six. by mutagenic growth, but okay. So right. I'm gonna attack for six. All right, fourteen. Your turn. Come on, land. Ugh. Huh. Okay. Go. All right, so. I guess now we have to play around Vines of Asswood, if we can help it. All right. Oh, they can all block flyers, but I just have first strike. But if he has... I can't think of another really big thing. All right, I'll hang a target this. Yep. All right, and I will de-armor target this. Yep. I'll swing in. I guess he could go like natural state this. We still have a 4-4. Four, four. Go first strike this down first. And then he only has three power to kill. Or three power doesn't kill my creature. Yeah, I mean, first strike you just do two, two, and I'd have a one oh, left. I have to do this one first. Oh, because three toughness. That's right. That's right. It's three toughness. So. So it would be. All right. So three, this would go. You wouldn't. One, one would not be able to kill either of these. And then I would have three power. Versus, they're both, they would both be 4-4s four if you kill yeah. armor or umbra. I planned this, kind of, not really. Alright, um, yeah, I'll destroy armor and jump block this one, take four. Okay, now uh, you're at ten. Here you go. I don't know if jump blocking is right. I can always just chump block next Actually, turn. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think I would chump block. Yeah, I can always just chump block next. Because what, is this is five? Uh, yeah, it's just five, right? Because yeah. it's just an extra one. It's just one so extra. so I'm going down to five? Yeah. I always just okay. chump block next turn. Here you go. Land. Oh my gosh. What do you need land for? Ray of Revelation? Just so I can play out. I have so many slivers that I can't uh, play. Sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. So you could double spell. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going to journey to nowhere this. Tilt. All right, unfortunately, we do not have an emerged unscathed. And That's bad. I will pass the turn. All right, attack uh, for four. Okay, so now we got to jump. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I will play... I guess Seeker of the Way is just better here because he has the spinner at Slipper. Your turn. All right. Planes. So, okay. So we're going to do one thing a turn. Okay, so we can either pump him again with another Lord or give him first strike. What the first strike would do with your first strikey thing? So, well, it's just a 
three we just have a three three, a two two, and a two two first strike, or we could have a four four, a three three, and a three three. Hmm. If we have the three 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 three, the first strike kills one. I'm just kind of dead. Could just throw out <coughs> could just throw out something else just to, to chump with. I have to deal with the seeker of the way. I think I'm just dead with not hitting land drops. Um just gonna throw out something to chump with. Go. They have vigilance? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's figure this out. Alright. I will start with a Find a strike on this since it has first strike. That'll force him to block. So I was, I was, there was a situation where if he, you know, only had two blockers, I could target Seeker of the way, put it at four, and then I have two four power creatures and the uh, the two soldiers. So if I attacked with all four creatures, he would have to go chump chump and take two. Otherwise, if he went, I guess he, yeah, because if he let any combination of a token plus uh, one of the bigger creatures in. Yeah, I think I think I'm just dead by playing this vigilance thing. I mean, because I think I needed the first strike. Because yeah, I, fine, I can't fine. let this die in combat and I'd have to like block and everything being at five. That's fine. So I think I need just the first striker. All right. So that's still fine. I'm still doing the same thing. So. Okay. All right. I will attack with Crow and Sky Guard and Seeker of the Way. Okay. So we'll go double block block. All right, I will uh, put pro green on this. Uh, so yeah. first strike, uh, these deal zero. Are you conceding? Yeah, I mean, I'm oh, dead. Because okay. this just kills this. And... All right, so that caps off our versus week of Todd v. Todd. 5-0. Yeah, it wasn't close. Some of the games were close. You yeah. won a few games. <laughs> Look, I, I don't mean I'm not trying to be mean. I, I'm it's very okay. used to playing as Brad, and he talks so much smack that I have to like. I, I basically built up this like free smack talk, <laughs> you know, like uh, I guess defense mechanism. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's hard to turn off. But uh, I, I think a lot of the games were very interesting, and mm -hmm. I, I mean, you got the short end of the stick. I've gotten five by Ross Marion before, so yeah. it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of hands that I thought were like you know pretty okay and stuff, but you had a lot of just like really good hands like all the yeah. games like except for like the standard ones you curved out every you know like you're mm -hmm. you know it was just good, good magic you yeah know, I mean I, showcase some decks <laughs> I I did I, I really enjoyed playing two matches of standard this week actually just the the standard mm -hmm. matchups felt uh, very uh, uh, intricate you know like there's a lot of little like small decision points which. You know, in standard recently, we've had that a lot, but on uh, more of a, a macro scale, like the micro decisions uh, mattered a lot more in deck building. Like, how do I build my team or energy deck to beat all these other team or energy decks and, and such? And and there's a lot of that now, but there's also a lot of in-game decisions with uh, combat math, uh, figuring out how to sequence your, your turn so that not only can you, like, make it to nine mana so you could like, play Scarab God plus activate, or, like, you know... The, you had the really sweet turn where you played Torrential Gear Hulk and you had the option of cast Vraska's Content and maybe, like, you know, die next turn to the Hadana's Climb right. or and also die on the spot to Blossoming Defense or try to hit double Fatal Push uh, and not die immediately. Yeah. So it was it was interesting, and you end up drawing two removal spells, but you're short the, I know, the one, one mana. One mana. It's so, so close. It was, it was pretty sweet, though. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun this week playing with you. Thank um, you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no no uh, big tournaments this weekend for Star City Games, but uh, yeah, I know we got a lot of stuff coming up in the future. Uh, next week, I should not be on the Versus Series. I think you may probably play against Ross. Maybe. Or it could be you and Ross. Could it's be. Probably no, not I Brad. played against Brad last week, though. So, I don't know. Well, Brad had, had the three in a row. Yeah, it could be me and Ross. I'm playing I against know. Ross. We're forever. trying to give so, everybody yeah. equal play time, but right. Ross keeps getting the shafts, and I feel bad. It's, yeah, it, it's got it's definitely <laughs> Ross for sure, and then it's yeah. just one of us two. Yeah. against them. Oh, uh, uh, should be good. Uh, make sure to check this out. Uh, check that out on uh, YouTube and or StarCityGames.com. Uh, but that's all yeah. I got for this so week. No, I'm no, ready to go uh, this yeah, lunch. no events this week. Uh, the following week we got. Uh, the team constructed open in uh, Cincinnati. Ooh. Are you going with uh, BBD and Brad? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So uh, long story short, Brad has asked me to be on his team two times mm -hmm. ever, ever. 
in any event. We played a classic sealed in Roanoke. That's why he was, was on my was one of the pre release. One of, oh, no. <laughs> uh, the other one was uh, a team sealed Grand Prix like a year ago. And yeah. we, we got one place out of money. It was really sad. Mm, that is really sad. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so next week we do have the team construction event in Cincinnati. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, but we're going to talk about that more next week yep. on the Versus Series. Thanks for watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to head over to Star City Games and subscribe to Premium. Not only will you get to read a bunch of sweet articles by myself and Mr. Stevens, you will also get content from the likes of Sam Black, Pro Tour, uh, top eight competitor multiple times. Uh, Ari Lax, Pro Tour champion. Sean McLaren, Pro Tour champion. Uh, the list just goes Jerry on. Thompson, on. Jerry Thompson, Pro, Pro Tour, Tour champion. champion. Brad Nelson, um, Pro Tour top eight competitor. Has he played multiple in Pro Tour? Grand Prix. I don't know. He's, he he, pro- he doesn't really talk himself up. Player very much. of the year, Brad Nelson. No. Yeah, he's he's you know he doesn't really mention anything about. Yeah, any and also uh, Ross Merriam. No See, accomplishments to be noted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I bag on Ross a lot, but that's just because I like him. Yeah, I like Ross a lot, too. Anyway, thanks for watching the verse series, and we'll see you soon.